For many of us, childhood is a nostalgic time. Free from the stress and pressures of adulthood, the halcyon days of youth are marked by few obligations and minimal commitments. But some children are so precocious that they achieve unbelievable tasks at a very early age. From setting world records to saving lives, these children accomplish feats that would be impressive at any stage of life. Today, we're counting down 10 mind-blowing child prodigies. Akrit Jaswal's parents knew from the minute he was born that their son was something special. By 10 months old, he could already walk and talk eloquently, and by age 5, he was reading and comprehending Shakespeare. All of this impressed his family and his community in rural Nurpur, India. But Jaswal's literacy was not his most amazing trait. Jaswal also had a proclivity for science and medicine. He blew through medical textbooks and had a relatively sound knowledge of common surgical practices. This became relevant when an impoverished family in a nearby village learned of Jaswal's abilities. Their toddler had burned her hands so severely that her fingers curled up and the skin melted together. Due to her family's poverty, she was never operated on, and for years the little girl's hand was useless. The family could not afford to visit a traditional doctor, and because Jaswal was only seven years old at the time, they pleaded with Jaswal to perform the surgery. He finally consented. After signing a waiver, Jaswal agreed to do the surgery free of charge. In the following weeks, his parents ordered surgical knives, camera equipment, and anesthesia for the occasion. On November 19, 2000, Jaswal performed his first surgery and separated the girl's fingers for the first time after an hour-long operation. Jaswal's parents documented the surgery and uploaded the footage online. Within days, their son was an internet sensation, and a few months later, Oprah Winfrey interviewed Akri Jaswal in one of her Little Genius segments. Since then, Jaswal has left the limelight, but he is currently studying bioengineering at university in India and hopes to find a cure for cancer. For Matthew Whitaker, life was challenging from the moment he was born. His mother gave birth a full three months prematurely. He weighed less than two pounds and was given a 50% chance of survival. Complications from the oxygen Matthew received to keep him alive as a baby eventually led to a degeneration of his retinas, meaning that he was blind before he turned one. But Matthew was never discouraged. Using an old keyboard that his grandpa gave him, Matthew taught himself simple melodies like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star at the tender age of three. His parents recognized his gift and offered him more piano lessons as he got older. Because he was blessed with perfect pitch, he learned to play piano mainly by listening, although he learned to read braille music as well. He later studied at the Harlem School of the Arts, and in addition to taking piano lessons, he learned to play the organ, percussion instruments, the clarinet, and bass guitar. All of this started to pay off when Stevie Wonder got wind of Whitaker's talent and invited him to open for him at Carnegie Hall. This led to Whitaker releasing his first album at the age of 16 and promoting it with an inspirational performance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Matthew is currently studying jazz piano at University in New York. Tom Shar from Malibu, California is a bright kid, but it's not his intelligence that makes him so exceptional. Shar has been a world-class athlete from a very young age, and he continues to excel in his chosen field, skateboarding. He started skating almost as soon as he could walk and began to separate himself from his peers immediately. At 12 years old, he became only the eighth person in history to land a 900 on a skateboard, and from there, skateboarding became his singular focus. As a kid, Tom watched Olympic snowboarder Sean White repeatedly attempt and fail the 1080 at the 2006 X Games. A 10 is three full rotations of the board while in the air. Many considered this the holy grail of skate tricks because it was unattainable but tantalizingly close. Shar obliterated expectations when he became the first person to land a 1080 at only 13 years old. He was quoted saying, It was the hardest trick I've ever done, but it was easier than I thought. Since then, Shar has competed and succeeded in a number of X Games, representing the United States. Before he turned 18, Shar was an eight time X Games gold medalist, an impressive feat for any age group. Things are looking pretty good for Shar as he enters a adulthood with lucrative sponsorships from Vans, Etnies, Monster, and LifeProof. A fuser is a complex device that uses an electrical field to heat ions to conditions suitable for nuclear fusion. The machine generates an electric energy between two metal cages inside a vacuum. Without getting too deep into the science of this machine, it was first developed in the 1930s and has applications ranging from energy production, space infrastructure, medical work, and weaponry. In short, it fuses an atom, creating an enormous amount of energy, much like the sun. The concept is hard to grasp even for a seasoned scientist. So when Taylor Wilson of Texarkana, Arkansas successfully fused an atom when he was only 14 years old, the science community took note. As the youngest person ever to build a fuser, he immediately received support from his family and local universities. In June 2012, Wilson was awarded a Teal Fellowship. The two-year $100,000 fellowship requires recipients to forego college for the duration of the fellowship. In 2017, Wilson was named a member of the Helena Group, an elite and edgy think tank of global leaders focused on executing projects that improve the world. 
In this time, Wilson also hosted a TED Talk and gave in-depth consultation to both the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and Department of Energy. Perhaps his greatest contributions to these departments was a highly accurate instrument that could measure radiation far more efficiently than any existent model. Now Wilson is 21, still living with his parents and working out of their garage. He has a full-time biographer, and a biopic is planned for him over the next few years. Ryan Wang only started playing piano when he was four years old. That might sound young, but by the time Wang was five years old, less than a year later, he was already playing Carnegie Hall in New York City. The undeniable prodigy from Vancouver, Canada has played pieces by every revered composer, but especially enjoys Russian composers like Tchaikovsky, Stravinsky, Borisov, and Denisov. Wang began with the sort of neighborhood recitals you might expect from a four-year-old, but his talents began to earn him a reputation, and he soon graduated to larger and more impressive venues. He successfully held concerts at Fazioli Concert Hall in Italy and K. Meek Theatre in West Vancouver at the age of five. He was later invited to perform in The Ellen Show, Canadian Broadcasting Company Music, and the New Year's Concert in Beijing, China. He's also been attending the Casal Major International Music Festival since 2015. Though he acknowledges that he's considered a prodigy, Wang insists that he's just a normal kid. He likes food, reading, and playing street hockey with his friends and neighbors. Apparently, Wang's classmates sometimes treat him like a celebrity. And in many ways, they're right. Wang has completed several world tours playing piano all across Europe and Asia. With that said, Wang says he's still just considers piano a hobby. We all remember the difficulty of mental math during grade school. The challenge of performing calculations without the aid of a calculator is notoriously hard. That's not the case for Priyanshi Somani. Priyanshi, right from her kindergarten days, was quick at mentally calculating without any difficulty. Her parents would spend a lot of time quizzing her with small additions and multiplications, and this wunderkind's answers were correct every time. Her teachers and her classmates were pretty impressed at the ease at which she could mentally calculate. In 2006, at the tender age of seven, she became the national champion in abacus and mental arithmetic competition in India, maintaining the title for three consecutive years. Before long, Priyanshi also gained recognition for her mental arithmetic skills at the international level, becoming the international champion in abacus in 2007 at the world competition held in Malaysia. Having gained success with abacus, Priyanshi soon set her sights on higher laurels. She enrolled for the Mental Calculation World Cup in 2010 and reached the finals, to be held in Germany. At the World Cup finals, she was the youngest finalist at only 11 years old, but her young age did not stand in the way of her glittering show at the finals. Priyanshi became the World Mental calculation champion, wrestling the title from 37 competitors from 16 countries. Priyanshi is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records for her superlative grasp of mental math. Like most of the kids on our countdown, Tanish Gabraham started to turn heads from a very early age. His parents, especially his mother, noticed that even as a toddler, he loved children's books. And by the age of two, he could remember and recall everything he heard and read, including literature aimed at a much older audience. At the age of four, Tanish was accepted into the Genius Society Mensa with an IQ score of 146. This makes him the youngest South Asian member of Mensa and one of the youngest in the history of the organization. By the age of five, he had cracked the math courses offered by Stanford University's education program for gifted youth in less than six months. His mother says he's been an achiever since his kindergarten days, but he always maintained a normal home life. His other interests include swimming, soccer, tennis, and ping pong. At age seven, Tanisk was enrolled full-time in a local community college, and he had prestigious universities fighting over him for enrollment before he even turned 11. He's currently enrolled at the University of California, Davis, where he's pursuing a PhD and eventually a medical degree. He too hopes to find a reliable cure for cancer through his dedicated lab work. Julian Rios Cantu was only six years old when his mother was first diagnosed with breast cancer. Though he was very young, the experience was scarring, and he recounts how difficult it was to see his mother in such a weakened state, fearing for her own life. Cantu's fears were compounded when his mother's breast cancer re-emerged years later, when he was an adolescent. In both cases, Cantu's mother survived, but she was forced to undergo a double mastectomy to stay alive. Cantu refused to be complacent about his mother's condition. Along with his three friends from his hometown of Mexico City, Cantu started his own company, Hygia Technologies. Their first product, an auto-examination bra, or EVA. The bra measures several factors like size, blood flow, and temperature, and is especially useful for women with a known genetic predisposition toward breast cancer. An increase in shape, size, or temperature could suggest more blood flow, which could reflect that blood vessels are consuming something, a sign in some types of cancer. And the product was announced well before Kantu's 18th birthday. While the bra is not yet commercially available, Kantu and his partners recently received the Teal Fellowship, a $100,000 investment to continue their studies with technology and health. Even as Kantu has has relocated to Southern California, he wants to ensure that his product pays homage to his mother back in Mexico.
Most of the kids in our countdown excel in academic fields, math, science, technology, or medicine. But every once in a while, an athlete comes along whose abilities are just as impressive. Jashan Agosto got the attention of a local news agency at the age of 11, when a reporter caught wind of his four-hour daily basketball routine. Drills include dribbling with two basketballs at once, in ways that would make the Harlem Globetrotters blush. The child's father insisted that he does not push Agosto. Instead, he just tries to keep up, as Jashan completes 200 push-ups, 200 sit-ups, and 150 squats every night before bed. A video of Agosto went viral, and he started playing competitive basketball at the high school level, though he had only recently left elementary school. Agosto currently plays for the University of Long Island and scored 400 points in his last season alone. Rifath Sharuk was born with an intense interest in space and astrophysics. He was glued to the lens of his dad's telescope, who was an astronomer and physicist. Tragically, Sharuk's father passed away while he was still young, but that didn't keep Rifath from following in his footsteps. When he was only 13, Sharuk was accepted into the prestigious Space Kids program in India. He formed a six-person team, and with the help of a single adult faculty, began his quest to build an operational satellite. Because they lived across South Asia, the team could only communicate over video chat, with Sharuk coordinating and delegating the other members of his team. Not only did they successfully build an operational satellite, the team of young men set a world record in the process. At just 64 grams, it weighs about as much as a large battery, making it the lightest satellite in the world. It contains several different kinds of sensors, including those to measure temperature, magnetism, altitude, and any strains on the structure as it hurtles through space. It also has its own power source and a small computer to turn on all the sensors at the right moment and store their data. The team's dream came true before any of them had turned 18, when NASA partnered with them to send the satellite into suborbit from its state-of-the-art facility in Virginia. Do you agree? Disagree? Are there any other people you think should be on our list? Let us know in the comments section. We love hearing from you. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like the video, share with friends, and subscribe to Top Trending for more regular countdown videos such as this one.